Well, thank you so much for buying Lucy Speaks. Uh, and this box, we're gonna have some really good stuff, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. That is the most important uh, thing. This is, some, this is three foils. Actually, the foil pack comes in a box like this, and it's 29 foils. But, because we're just gonna do a sample box, right? So we're gonna give you three full lengths. I'm gonna give you, uh, this is a Diamond Holics number two that we're gonna be using. We're gonna have some gummy gel, the black chrome, a shiny, a gel polish 132, precious minerals 076, the maxi glue, magic film, gule, because <laughs> as you know, we make mistakes. Uh, and let me show you really quick, okay? Okay, first I wanna show you Precious Mirrors 076. I actually did some nails and Max did some amazing nails with uh, with this color. This is a cat eye color, so you will need a magnet. Unfortunately, I could not add the magnet this time because we are almost run out of magnets, but we'll have a set coming up next week. So maybe we can include that magnet set on the next box, we'll see. So this is a really nice creamy color. And I'm gonna place my magnet. And since I broke my magnet, uh, you, I'm sure you have one of these guys where I broke mine, like these guys. Um, it come like in a little gray handle. I'm gonna place a magnet on top of it, but I'm not gonna touch it. You can see how nice of a line is. So here's the nail cure. Either you can leave it like that or you can put some more flair to it. So let's go try something really cool. Um, I'm gonna use my Maxi Magic Film Glue. Obviously it was glue, but oh well, things happen. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here and here on the tip. Try to put like a thin coat, don't put too of a thick coat, just a thin coat. And this is gonna stay whatever the, you want the foil. So just a little bit like that. And I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. Okay, here's my nail cure. So what I'm gonna do, you can see the foil, uh, it's like this, right? So I usually cut it in little pieces because otherwise it gets really crazy to handle. So the shiny part always have to face you. And the gray part always has to face the nail. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, with my thumb, I'm gonna apply pressure. If you ever got wax or are, do you wax, just go like this and you can see. It's not much of a trick, just press. And then that's it. So you, so you can add more flair to the nail. I have here a little bit of black paint and a brush. So what we can do, we can decorate the nail. So now we can come over here and do just like, you know, like if you have a stamp or you have like anything you wanna add, I would like to add some like, Okay, on this box, the color 132 is gonna be a green, a sparkly color. Why I choose green? Because it's time for us to create some Christmas designs. And this one is green, but it's not as Christmas. It's not a, it's not a really crazy green. It's green and silver. So it's pretty pretty. Very pretty. I'm gonna cure that now. So here we have it, cure. A lot of people ask me, how do we use shiny? Shiny is not really tricky how to use it. It's pretty simple. We just have to remember the steps. So shiny is not a builder. 
it's uh, it's a thicker consistency as you see you can I have some gems there we're gonna use a brush any brush that you want that you have I'm gonna use this guy so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this much so after my gel polish is cured I'm gonna use gummy in the areas that I want to place my stones in this case I want to place them on an angle like this and since I'm a, I'm thinking of put my stones a little bit thicker and like uh, my stones are gonna be bigger, so I'm gonna put more just on that little bit. We only put that put gummy where we want our stones to be. So, so now I'm gonna put the nail on an angle like this, so you can see how it's sticking out. Okay, so you can't. Uh, see here how the I'm gonna see show you with this stick. You can see here it's more thicker on this side. You can see like that. You can see a bump. So that's where all stones are gonna sit. Before we do anything else, we're gonna apply shiny, and shiny is gonna be applied on all the nail, no over the gummy. I'm just gonna put it here and go over the gummy, kind of like frosting a key, okay? No, not to, don't rub it too much. And that's it. So now I'm gonna use my bling tool. Those, all these tools are available on our website. I wish I can put everything, but the box will be uh, way too expensive. So this one is the ones, these ones are point backs. So with point backs, what, can I, what we can do is we can create a cluster. Let me see, I'm just picking them randomly. This uh, particular diamond holly has a little random stuff. So we can put things, whatever you want. So here is my nail. Since we apply shiny over the nail, the nail is non-sticky. Okay, so that's it. And those stones won't go anywhere. Okay, shiny is here for 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna open my black chrome and I'm gonna use uh, an old makeup applicator because if I use my inel couture, it's just gonna be too black. So this one I can throw it out. So we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna apply the chrome all over. can do it with the sponge applicator. I don't really like doing it with my finger because otherwise it gets really black everywhere. So you can see it's nice and black and shine. I, really, I, I like it. A lot of people uh, say that it just gives like a pewter, I think it's called, look. We'll see how it looks after uh, after we apply the shiny. So after that, we're gonna apply a coat of shiny. It kinda looks like a metallic gray, like chrome. Yeah, I like it. It's hard to tell for the light but when you do it you will see okay i'm gonna take this out of the lamp so now you can see a little bit better so i'm gonna use my play gel this is not in the box but you can always buy it in a couture 
So just to show you, we can like add some flare to that nail. just a little bit we can cross if we want over here and over here so we can have a little something okay so for my next nail what I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply a little bit of this foil glue On the back of a form or like where the wax part is I have this tip over here painted with black I'm gonna add a thin coat of shiny and cure it for 30 seconds so if you ask why did I apply shiny on top of the black nail is because I'm gonna make a design with foil glue and the foil is gonna stick only to the sticky part if I don't put shiny the black gel polish has a little bit of a dispersion layer so my foil will go everywhere and I don't want to do that I want my design just to stay on the place that I want it to be okay so check this out okay so my shiny is cured so that means the nail is not has sticky residue so i have my uh my glue here that i put right like my maxi foil film glue i'm gonna use a brush you can use any brush you want like something to do whatever like to apply this glue it's not a glue it's a gel but we call it glue because it glues the foil so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to do a butterfly We can do a flower. Well, let's do a flower just to see if I can be better at that. So I'm going to create the petals. One, two. Three. Four. It's hard to see because it's clear, right? So after that, I'm just gonna, yeah, just like that. So I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. For my flower, I have some leftovers uh, foils. And since you don't need that much, so you can have some of your leftovers. So I'm gonna use what I used before on the nail and I'm, I have this pink one over here. So we're gonna place both like randomly on the nail. Okay, so here's the nail with the glue already cured, and I'm gonna apply the pink. Like I said, the foil is only gonna stick. See that? It's only gonna stick to the foil glue. And because I don't have a sticky residue because we put shiny that is tag free, the foil is only gonna stick to where we put the, the, the glue. So here is. So now what are we gonna do? We're gonna use some of white paint and make this flower pretty. So to decorate my flower that I did I don't want to waste that long and that many time if you're really artistic you can do some frills I'm just gonna use my plate gel I'm gonna create some dots so I'm gonna make the center I like it. 
Hey, yeah, it's really fun. You can just do so much without like that much effort. Do something as abstract and it looks way better if you just take your time trying to be precise. This way is just so you have the idea with the what I meant by placing the glue gel, the maxi magic film coulet. <laughs> um you can do flowers, butterflies, whatever you want the foil to stick, it's only gonna stick where you cure the glue. Okay, we're gonna do one more, and this is gonna be with our gel polish 132. And this one, we're just gonna do something crazy with the wow factor. So the same, we're just gonna use this as a background. I like it because the green is no that green, like it's, a nice little green, excuse me. And it has this chunk sparkly. That makes it look really pretty. So I have my green here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the Maxi Gel Glue. Thin coat all over the nail. So much for a thin coat. And I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. So over here I have random uh, little pieces that I have used before. And those are foils. Remember the foil? It's like this one is kind of tricky because this one doesn't have the, you know, like the, the different color on the bottom. So this one you don't know. But... Remember, the more of a shiny, it will go on top. And if it doesn't attack it, just turn it around. Like, turn it around and then try it the other side. Because this ones sometimes are tricky because when they have, like, the, like they're not come like this one. So you, you can see, you know. This one does. And this one does too. And the silver one is the one that doesn't have that. So over here I have cure my nail for 60 seconds so i want to create more of a uh, festival christmasy look so this foil has a little bit of red here not too much okay just like let's go apply some gold now there and then maybe some silver so this is going to be the tricky part but yeah see like you just have to be lucky and then I don't want to apply too much so just like that it's really Christmassy Isn't it? it's beautiful like those foils are amazing so this is the five tips that I did with precious mineral 076 you get that one use a magnet remember cure come back use the foil yell I only use it on this side and this side and then apply my foils. Then come back with a black gel paint and did a little design there. This one is with gummy, okay? If you really want to use this play gel, go ahead and buy it. It's, it's, I believe it's $14.99 and it's a lot of product in there. So you can make those nice lines. This one I create the flower. With this one I place shiny, I mean, sorry, black, cure it, come back, shiny, cure it, come back, apply the glue on with a brush so I can make a flower or a butterfly, whatever, and then cure it for 60 seconds, come back and apply your foils. This one we apply 132, Cure it, come back, apply the glue foil for 60 seconds, come back and use some of the random scraps that you have uh, kicking around there with for foils and try to make it Christmassy. They're really pretty, really easy to do. 
they have a wow factor that your clients will definitely pay or come back to you all the time. Let me know what you think. And I cannot wait to see your designs. You can always tag me on Instagram or Facebook at emailcouture.ca. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoy this. And we'll see you in the next box. Lucy Speaks.